This problem involves gasoline flowing through a pipe bend. Review the documentation. Gasoline is lighter than water, so the specific gravity is 0 0.8. The flow rate is 5 cubic feet per second of the gasoline through the bend. The inlet pressure is 18 psig. And notice that I convert that right away to pounds per square foot gauge because this is these are consistent units and that saves me time later on. The area at section 1 is given, the area at section 2 is given. We're told that the kinetic energy correction factors should be assumed to be 1 and the head loss through the pipe bend is 0 0.6 feet and lastly we'll assume steady flow. The goal is to find the pressure at 2, so the pressure right here, and we want to find this in units of PSIG. Since we are modeling head loss, this is a viscous flow problem and we want to apply the energy equation. So I've written the energy equation here. The goal right here is the pressure at section 2, so I mark that as my goal. The specific weight can be easily calculated. The velocity at section 2 is unknown. We do know the kinetic energy correction factor at section 2, the gravitational constant, is known. We'll define section 2 as zero elevation, so this term is known. Moving over to the left side, um, the pressure at 1 is known, specific weight of the gasoline is known, alpha 1 is known, V1 is unknown. This is known, and the elevation at section 1 is 12 feet. So this is 12 feet. There's no pumps or turbines in our system. And our head loss was specified as 6 feet. So when we clean up this equation, the reduced equation is shown next. This is a reduced equation. Here's our goal. And we have two more unknowns. And so we're going to next use the flow rate equation to write equations for these two unknowns. Here's the flow rate equation. And we can write the flow rate is equal to A1 V1, the first equation in this set. This is known. This is our new goal and this is known, so we can easily solve this equation for V1. Similarly, we can do this again. Flow rate is equal to A2, V2, and we can solve this equation for V2. So what I can see, I have one, two, three equations, and I have three unknowns. My three unknown variables are the pressure the pressure at section 2, the velocity at section 1, and the velocity at section 2. So my plan is shown by these steps. So step 1, I'll use this, uh, I'll use this equation to calculate the velocity at 1 and the velocity at 2. Step 2 of my plan is I'll use this equation to solve for the problem goal, P2. The velocity at section 1 is 6.25 feet per second. The velocity at section 2 is 25 feet per second. Now to calculate the pressure at 2, it's a pretty lengthy calculation, so I split the calculation into parts here. So the pressure head ended up being about 52 feet. The velocity head at section 1 was about a little less than 1 foot. The velocity head at section 2 is 9.7 feet, reflecting the fact that the velocity at section 2 is much faster. Here's the equation for the pressure at 2. When I put in all the values, carry and cancel units, the pressure at section 2 is 16.9 PSIG. Review the solution. So anytime you have pipe flow with head loss, this is a viscous flow, and you want to use here the energy equation. It's our main tool for analyzing these kind of problems. When we use the energy equation, it's very common to assume that the kinetic energy correction factor, alpha, 
is 1. And you'll notice that the pressure at section 2 came out to be 16.9 PSIG and it's slightly less than 18 PSI which was the inlet pressure. And we can now look at the three causes of pressure variation to understand what's causing the pressure variation and I'm going to show this with a different diagram. There are three causes of pressure variation. So at location 2, this is a lower elevation than section 1, so elevation has gone down and this would cause the pressure at section 2 to be higher than the pressure at section 1. But there's two competing effects. As the fluid flows from section 1 to section 2, there's viscous effects and head loss. And so head loss or viscous effects causes the pressure at section 2 to be lower. And I should clean this up here. I should just simply say the head loss causes the pressure at section 2 to be lower. Then lastly, um, when velocity increases, when velocity goes up because of the Bernoulli effect, we generally expect pressure to go down. And velocity has gone up here at section 2 because it's a smaller area by the continuity equation. So the velocity is high, we would expect the pressure to be uh, going down here because of this Bernoulli effect. So in summary, there's three causes of pressure variation. And this elevation change, we would expect the pressure two to increase. And because of head loss and because of fluid acceleration, we would expect the pressure at two to decrease. And these two effects are slightly larger than this effect. So the pressure at 2 is slightly less than the pressure at 1. Hope you enjoyed this solution. Thank you.